Prepare and proceed to vote. After the past few contentious years in Ohio, it's not uncommon to see a scuffle on the House floor. Uncalled for. What isn't common is that the fight took place between Republicans. Literally, my blood was boiling. Since the beginning of the year, the Republican caucus has been split in two. New state rep Josh Williams is part of the Marin faction. Rep Derek Marin lost speakership to Jason Stevens after the Democrats joined 22 Republicans to secure the gavel. Since that day, Marin's team has promised to fight against Stevens. And that was evident during what should have been an easy day to vote on House rules, like what time session begins. To go on the floor in front of a speaker selected by Democrats, and to once again have my voice ignored and the voice of my district ignored what was not only an insult to the constitutional rights that I have as a legislator, but also to be a voice of a generation of black conservatives. Williams wanted to bring an amendment to the rules, but Stevens skipped over him. Order of order right now. Republican state rep Jay Edwards, a supporter of Stevens, says hearing the proposal showed him it was all theatrics. They want chaos on the floor. They a want different Marin Republican proposed a rule to require Christian prayer before every session and allow lawmakers to carry guns in the state house. Edwards says not only were those unconstitutional, but that Marin's team was acting like they were silenced when they weren't. 70% of the rules brought forward um, were met by Speaker Stevens and put into the rules package. So, and I actually think even if we got the perfect, the goalposts would have been moved further down the road because because it, it, it was about causing chaos. So, and I think yesterday was just a demonstration of what's going to happen in the House moving forward. Eventually, the rules were able to be confirmed because the Democrats once again sided with Stevens at the State House. I'm Morgan Trout reporting.